Hello, my name is Paul Grogan, and in this Gaming Rules video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Key Market, which was originally published in 2010, designed by David Brain, with additional development done by Richard Breeze, and there is a new version of the game coming this year to Kickstarter, which is why I'm doing this video. So I'm joined today by friends of mine, Rick, Hello. Alan and Hello. Andy. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, as I say, we're going to be doing a teach and then a playthrough of the game. So I'm going to go through most of the rules first, not all of them, most of them, because there are a couple of points which are only relevant later on, um, but you will see how the game is played out. Right, so what is this game? This is Key Market, this is one of the key games, and in it we are all extended family members uh, living in the lands of Keydom. And over the period of two years, we will be using our workers, which are these counters here, to go out, collect resources, do various things, and then at the end of the two years, it's the one with the most gold that wins. Okay, this is gold. You can collect gold during the game, but there is also quite a lot of end game scoring as well. So, two years is tracked on this is the season board. So we have winter, spring, summer and autumn, and we do this twice, and then it's the end of the game. So there are eight seasons in the game, and each season is divided into three phases. So you'll see this is phase one, phase two, and phase three. So it's the farming phase, then the market phase, and then the end of season phase. And it's the same for each of the four seasons, mm -hmm. and we do that twice. Okay, so that's, that's the flow of the game. Um, now to do setup, we need to decide randomly who goes first. So pick a number from one, two, three, or four. Three. Three is that one. Top, middle, or bottom? Uh, Hotspot, no, middle. 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 What is a hotspot now? Yeah. Top or bottom? Top. Okay, so that is the turn order for the first round of the game. It will change. We also have this thing called a favour track, which you don't use in a two player game, but you do use in a three or four player game. And the favour track, the markers are placed on in reverse order. Okay. Like so. We'll come to that later on. Right, okay. So, um, starting money. I get three gold. Now, gold can be kept secret, okay? So, a certain things go behind your screen, which is gold and your resources. Your workers and stuff like that stay in front of your screen, okay? So, who's second player? Me. So you get four gold. <coughs> uh, third player also gets four gold. All right. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And Alan, you get five. Ideal. There you go. Thank you. So that's, that, yeah, that's the starting money. Um, we've done that, we've done that. Right, the next thing to explain is one of the core concepts of the game. Uh, these are not in the final position. We're going to move these around in a minute as part of setup. But you will see here that we have fields that produce resources. Okay? And there are squares and there are circles. Mm -hmm. Generally speaking, circles will produce one and squares will produce two. Every season, except for winter. If you look in winter... Nothing produces, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And I will remind you of that later on, because when I first played it, I was like, yeah, winter doesn't produce anything, got it. <laughs> and then when we got to here, I was like, oh, winter doesn't produce anything. <laughs> that's what you meant. That's, what you, that's <laughs> why it's important. So circles generally produce one, squares generally produce two. So you might think squares are better. However, mm -hmm. this is where these tokens come in. It's not always going to be like this. We have here three counters with a number two on it. One of them is fruit, one of them is vegetables, and one of them is, is wheat, okay? Mm -hmm. And when this tile is revealed for that particular season, production of a circular space is increased to three. Ah. Okay, so one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. And we, don't, we know what those three are, mm -hmm. we just don't know the order. We've got exactly the same here, but this time, these are going face up. So one on there, one on there, one on there. Okay, so we know, because we've got great weather predicting devices, that in spring of year one, the circular fruit spaces are going to produce three instead of one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. circular spaces are either always one or three. The square spaces I mentioned are generally two. Mm -hmm. In here, I have a zero for each of the six resources. Uh, so at geez. some point in the game, what the squares for, the, for a particular resource are going to drop to zero. Okay, so I've given them a shuffle. These are the three that I'm going to put there. And these three go face up. So in spring, square 
vegetable production is zero. But then that's that zero gone then for the rest of the game. You will then know that square vegetables <coughs> will always produce two. Okay? Mm. So that's a core concept of the game. You'll also notice that at the centre of each board is a village. The village produces luxury resources. Oh, sorry, they're not called resources. They're called luxuries. Mm -hmm. um, they are valuable. They are more valuable than the normal resources. They're the only thing that produce in winter. Mm -hmm. Okay? So they are a circular space. So they produce one in each of the seasons. And in winter, they also produce one. But one of the square tiles is actually, it drops that down to zero. Right. Okay. okay. So at some point in the game, they, they will be zero. But yes. Right. So that's how the production works. And as I mentioned at the start, you will be putting your workers on these spaces and then they will be producing resources depending on the season. Right. So rest of setup. Uh, what have we here? We've done the turn order track. We've done the gold guild tiles. Right. The game comes with, I think it's going to be 17 different guilds. Wow. For anybody who's played the previous version of the game, the guilds are what has changed in this version. Some of them have been rebalanced and there's been some new ones put in. You only play with seven of them and it's suggested for your first game, you play with the numbers one to seven. Okay, so we're going to play with them, but that's where the variability and the replayability comes in the game is that you will use different guilds each time you play. Mm -hmm. um, right, okay, what else have we got to do for setup? Country boards. It's now time to set up the country boards. So they don't start like this. What happens is I'm going to get I'm going to get you to do them Ooh. because I'm the first player. Right. So give them a shuffle underneath the table and yeah, do that with them. Them the Flip some of them over <laughs> because they are double sided. Okay. And then okay. give me one of them a random side up. All right. Okay. So I can't change. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put it there. Okay. Right. Because I'm the first player to place it, it doesn't matter where I, where I place <laughs> it. Now what I do is I take one of my workers and I put it on one of the eight spaces around the village. So I can't put it in the village and I will get that resource. There is something I'd forgotten to do. Apologies. Farmhouses. We're all supposed to have a farmhouse. Uh, there are five of them in the game. So I'm going to give them a shuffle. I'm going to deal one out randomly. Are they double sided? They are double sided, but it's Thank you. the manor house is on the other side. Okay. So you want to place it farmhouse side up. And the reason why I'm explaining that now, and the reason why I remembered is all of the resources in the game, apart from the luxuries, are the same value. Okay? Mm -hmm. Everything you do in the game regarding the guilds just requires different resources. It doesn't matter what the resources are, just requires them to be different. So at the start of the game, I'm going to put one of my workers on one of these spaces and I'm going to get that resource. Mm -hmm. So you might think, well, which resource do I want if they're all valued the same? Well, if you look at your farmhouse, the cost to improve your farmhouse is that, which is different for all of us, mm -hmm. and then one of those things. There is something else I've forgotten. Everybody starts with one of each <coughs> resource. Oh, which goes behind your screen, because it's secret. Did I put that in my teaching notes? I did put it in my teaching notes and then forgot. <laughs> so yeah, you start with one of each resource. So because my farmhouse requires a wheat and one of something else... Sorry. You're going to have to buy this farmhouse in a minute. Right. right. Yeah, sorry. You've got to buy the farmhouse by paying this cost. And then at some point in the game, you can upgrade it by paying right. that cost plus a luxury item. And that flips it over. So I might say, well, my farmhouse is going to cost me a wheat and something else. So therefore, I might want to start my initial worker on the wheat space. But you want to look at this as well. Because circular fruit in spring is going to produce three. And I quite like that. So that's where I'm going to go. I assume we start in spring. No, no, we start in winter. We start in winter. Yeah, we are currently in winter. Oh, I see. Okay. But I'm going to put him there so that him, her, that's a him, uh, <laughs> I think. Yeah, I'm going to put him there and I'm, I'm planning, because you can move them around, but I'm going to put him there and I'm going to plan leaving him there for spring when he's going to produce me three lovely pieces of fruit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's why I've put that one there and I now get one of these pieces of fruit. Okay. As you place them there. Yep. Second player, Andy. So Andy gets a random tile. That one. Random side up. Now, okay. that has to be placed there, 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 or there. Okay, and we'll move this around to fit. Any orientation? Any orientation, but it has to be placed completely 
you know, along mm -hmm. one side. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to explain the definition of an area. Okay, if you were to put it there, for example, what you have created is an area here. And each area can only have one worker in it. Okay, the size of the area does not affect the production. And that's a concept which I initially found difficult to get my head round. Mm -hmm. That is still an area which will produce either one or three. The fact that it's size two is, is irrelevant, but it means that is now my area and nobody else can go in that area. Okay? Whereas if you were to put it like that, you could then go there because it's a different area. But we, what we've now got is we've got this big area here mm -hmm. of vegetables. So, yeah. Uh, orthogonally adjacent ones of the same type, whether it be a circle or a square, create an area. And there can only ever be one worker in an area. Okay? You say these will change later in the game? No, no, no. These are going to be set. This, this will be set for the whole game. Right. So where okay. would you like to place it and what orientation would you like to place it? Okay, let, let's do this then. Let's, ooh, okay. let's have a big patch of vegetables. Yep, and then you place a worker and it can go on any of those eight spaces there. And let, let's make it difficult for anyone else yep. to get vegetables. Okay, and you get a vegetable. Right. <clears throat> when do you get your people back? Uh, they stay, you have to pay for them at the end of each season, uh -huh. but you may choose not to pay for them and bring them back. Right. And this is where most of your money is going to go in the game. All of your, just jumping ahead to end of season, all of your workers cost you two gold. Every season. Okay. So that's why you need to be generating money in order to pay for your, pay for your workers. Right, so it's you next. Mm -hmm. oh, this one I might as well give you yeah. this now. Yeah. Thank you. Hmm. Well. Let's let's do a, a big vegetable well, fruit patch. Yeah. Again. Big square fruit patch. Yeah. Now, is there a difference between the K guy or not? Yeah, so the K guy is your key worker. Okay. Right. If you are playing with guild number four, the key worker might have a special ability. If you're not playing with guild number four, it's just a normal worker. We are playing with guild number four, <laughs> so the key worker does have a special ability if you are on that guild. Right. So I'll as well go here. Okay, yeah, and you get an extra fruity fruit. fruit. Mm. Is it pumpkin fruit? Or is it an apple? I think it's an apple. It's an apple. It's yeah, like it's, just, it's just an orange counter. Hopefully <laughs> they'll make them red in the new version. <laughs> right, so Alan, where is it going to go and how much of the board are we going to move around? I think it's going to go here. Okay. To make that vegetable patch a little yeah. bit bigger. Yeah, so what I'm going to do yeah, is I'm going to move this. Just to be annoying then. No, no, no. I'm going to put that there and hopefully everybody can see everything. And then you put a worker on one of those, oh, one of those spaces. Here. Oh. Getting uh, a one resource of the corresponding yeah, time. Mm, right, so other rules about workers which didn't apply right now because we've only got one on the board. But you cannot have one of your workers adjacent to any of your other workers and that includes diagonals. Right. Mm. Okay. Gosh. Okay. Now, when you're moving them, which I'll come on to in a minute, you can move illegally as long as where you end up is okay. Right. Okay. Otherwise, you could get blocked in. Uh, so, and you got your resource. Yes. Right. So that I think is the setup done. Uh, we've explained the areas. We've noted the size and <coughs> yeah. Oh no, we've got to pay for our resort. We've got to pay for our farmhouse. So this is actually done in secret. Now everybody knows I'm going to be paying a wheat, mm -hmm. but I've got to pay another resource as well, and it's done in secret. Okay, you so what's, do, what's, what's going to happen wrong. is everybody pays for their resources like this, and then we reveal, and then the resources that we've used go onto the market board. Okay. Right. We have a market, we have a dynamic market in the game. The current price of these goods is five. Okay? Mm. As more goods get placed on here, it reduces the price. Gosh. So if we all decide to pay with a vegetable, mm -hmm. the price of vegetables is going to drop down a lot. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, so yeah, it's up to you. Whatever you want to pay with. <laughs> Expert players will probably spend ages thinking about this particular <laughs> decision. But 
Okay. And then we reveal. So I'm paying for my farmhouse with that. <laughs> no. Hello. And then you just place the resources on there like so. Got right. It. So yeah, the price of vegetables is down to two, mm -hmm. which is good if you were planning to buy vegetables and bad if you were planning to sell vegetables. Um, so paying for the farmhouse, we are, yes, that is now the end of setup. So, winter, farming phase. So I mentioned that each season, there are three phases. We, we, we do the farming phase where we all get one turn and it's done in this order. So I will take the first turn and then I'll move to there to show that I've had my turn. Once we've all done that, we then go into the market phase. And then once we've all done the market phase, we do the end of season phase, okay? Mm -hmm. So in the farming phase, if you look at your player aid, these player aids are really good. I'm going to put my player aid there, just for the purposes of the video. So in the farming phase, in turn order, so it's my turn first, and I get to do these six things. Mm -hmm. I can do as many of these six things as I want, but I have to do them in order. And I mentioned at the start, I'm not going to explain all of the rules up front. And that is because, right now, only options one and two are relevant. I'll briefly mention the others, mm -hmm. and we'll come on to them more later on. So, step one, move workers. I can move as many of my workers as I want. It costs me one gold to move one worker one space. So, do I want to move my worker? I don't want to move my worker, because I've put them on a space planning for this. So I, I don't want to move them. I did mention at the start, you can't start the game in the villages. The only yeah. way to get somebody in a village is to move them into a village, and that costs you an additional five. Wow. So nobody can do that right now. Okay, and you can only move orthogonally. Okay, so if I wanted to right now, I could spend two gold and go, I'm not going to, but I could. Right? How do you get the resource from landing on it? No, because it's winter. Uh, of course. Okay. So I see. So I'm going to choose not to move my worker. Right, next, hire one worker. This is something I am going to do. It costs you one gold for each existing worker on the board. So I currently have one worker on the board, so it costs me one gold to hire a new worker. Okay, and the new worker can go anywhere, not in a village, not adjacent to anything of mine, and also not in an area containing somebody else's worker. So I couldn't go mm -hmm. in this here vegetable patch. Well, for two reasons, because it's adjacent to that one. So I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the production coming up in future, and, hmm. Where do I want to put it? So I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah, okay. So I'll put it there. So that was step two. Right, step three is receive resources. But as I say, it's winter. Mm -hmm. So I don't get any resources. Step four is I can promote a guild member. If I had somebody in a guild, I could now promote them. So I'll skip that. Step five, I can upgrade my farmhouse but I, I'd need all of that to upgrade my farmhouse, mm -hmm. right? And step six, I can retire mm -hmm. a worker. You can only retire a worker once you've got a manor house. So that's why we're not doing that. So as I say, step one and two is the only thing that you can do in the first season of the game. Can you not upgrade your farmhouse? You need one of those, Yeah. one of those, yeah. and that. You don't start with that. That is a luxury item. Did you start with a luxury item? I might have done. Apologies, no. We just took one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sorry, you do yeah. not start with a luxury item. So technically speaking, these five things are resources, mm -hmm. and that's a luxury. Okay? Yeah, it's special. <laughs> it's special. Um, so yeah, so you can't you can't okay. do that, which means you can't retire. That is it. That is my turn done. So Andy. Okay. Um, now, just to to get an idea of how this is going, yeah. um, so vegetables are not worth very much at the moment. No. And we're going to be receiving stuff from the farm in spring. In spring, yes. So in spring, every circular space will produce one, <coughs> unless yeah. it's a fruit space, which will produce three. Every square space will produce two, unless it's a square vegetable space, which will produce nothing. Caterpillars. So at the moment, being in a vegetable space is... Hang on a minute, yeah, sorry. Thank, thank you for that. I didn't, I didn't mean to put that there. Oh, didn't you? No. How convenient. <laughs> I meant to put it... I meant to put it... There. Thank you for that. That looks a bit better. 
<laughs> yeah, I did wonder. Okay. <laughs> Say something. So, take, take back to our allowed in a learning game. I'll spend one coin to abandon the vegetable field and go here. Yeah. That's, uh, that's phase one. So that's one. your movement. Yeah. And okay. for phase two, I will buy another word. Spend a coin. Who will go here. Okay. Mm. I think that's me done. Right. And then you move your marker to there, and it's red. Uh, I'm not moving. Okay. But I'm spending a monies. Yep. Can we get a money pot here? We'll put some here, maybe? Yeah, stick it there. Yeah. Rather than reaching all over there. So I've got another person, and which I'm going with here. So I'll go here. You can. Yep, that's fine. Job done. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also going to hire a worker, but I need some change, because I've only got a five. Yeah, we have change. One, two, three, four. There we go. Thank you very much. So you're not moving? I'm not moving, no. And I will place a worker. I will place a worker here. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can't do that. Valid. Yeah, well. You can go there. Yeah. You spotted that. If you wanted a circular wheat, yeah. <laughs> First deliberate mistake. Okay. Yeah, I'll go there. And then you don't do steps three to six and then you're done. Right, so now the market day. Oh. So in the market day, if you have resources behind your screen, if you have at least one resource or a luxury item behind your screen, mm -hmm. you have to go to the market. Mm -hmm. How many goods you send to the market is completely up to you, but you're only not allowed to go to the market if you don't have any goods, at which point you have to reveal your screen to say, I don't have any goods, and then everybody sees how much money you've got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so assuming we all go to the market, you decide which goods you want to send to the market. Mm -hmm. Do we go to the market in order or do it all at the same time? Right. Well, we do this bit first. Don't do it just yet, but once you've decided which goods you want to send to the market, you'll put them out in your fist. Okay. You'll then reveal them, yeah. and then all of the goods that we've all put in our fist go on the farmhouse. Right. That just means I am sending these to the market this turn. Once you've decided to send them to the market, you cannot then change your mind and bring them back. They, they, are, they have gone to the market. You've given them to somebody <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. and they've gone to the market. <laughs> what then happens is in turn order, we're each going to get to do an action, but then it repeats. And when wow. it's your turn, you can sell. So right now, I am currently the first player. So therefore, if I decide to sell vegetables, I'll get two for them. So I've got a slight advantage now. So you've got to kind of try and guess, mm -hmm. well, what's Paul going to go to the market with? <coughs> and you probably don't want to go with the same thing because I'm going to get to sell before you. And when you sell, it goes on to the track? When you sell, you can either sell one or two of a thing. Of a okay? thing. Okay, of a thing. Mm -hmm. So if, if I decided to put, oh, yeah. just, just for this example, if I decided to put those there, then I'm going to be going to the market four times on different turns, and each mm -hmm. turn I choose one of them and I say, right, this is going to go to the market. If I had two of something, then I could sell both of them. Uh -huh. I would get six money, because it's two times three, yeah. but only one of them would go on there and the other one would go back to the supply. Right. So you will be selling your things to get money. If the price drops here, you can put multiple counters in here, the price never goes below one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, you want to be selling the thing. If somebody's got sheep right now, they probably want to sell it because it's worth five. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. The other thing that happens in the market day is, instead of doing a sell action, you can do a guild action. And by the end of market day, you must have done one guild action. So it's up to you the order in which you do them. Now, bear in mind I'm the first player. If I decide to sell sheep, I would be foolish to do my guild action first because then you lot will sell your sheep and get the good price, mm -hmm. okay? But at some point, and this will, the turns will cycle round and round and round, everybody must do one guild action mm -hmm. during this phase, okay? And you can't end the phase until you've done your guild action and you've sold all your stuff, okay? Right. There are six different guild actions. Importantly, you only ever do one of them in the phase, so it's a really key, important decision. And the first guild action is you sponsor an apprentice. So you move one of your workers, which can be from here or from here, I believe, <coughs> into one of the guilds on the bottom level. Okay? The cost of doing that is two different resources. Mm -hmm. 
a luxury item can be used in place of any two resources. Okay, so in other words, it's two different resources or one luxury item. Okay, and that will get somebody in there. Now, notice these numbers. That's victory points at the end of the game. Right. Okay, so just having them in there will give you victory points at the end of the game, but they also give you bonuses and special abilities as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on to that in a minute. But that is the only way in the game of getting a worker into a guild. Another two actions are promoting them to a craftsman, move them up, that costs three different resources, mm -hmm. or a luxury and one resource, and promoting to master, so moving them from craftsman to master. That costs four different resources, or a luxury and two resources, but not two luxuries, because you can't use two of the same. So, okay. You can retire a worker, which is four different resources, but you have to have your manor house. You can buy resources, that is a guild action. You buy from the current there, and when you buy it goes behind your screen. Mm -hmm. So you can buy back what you've just sold. Right, okay. <clears throat> okay. But you can't sell what you buy, because when you buy it, it goes behind your screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And finally, take cash. You get five money, minus one, for each of your workers and the country boards. So they are the six different guild actions. Importantly, buy. That's the only place in the game that you can buy resources from there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sponsor an apprentice. That's the only place in the game you can do that. But the other three actions, the promoting and the retiring, you may remember you could do them in the farming phase. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They're the bits we skipped over in the farming phase. Oh, I see. Yeah. So this bit, which is three or four player game, moved to the top of the favour track. Yes. So the favour track, if you decide to take cash, then as well as getting a little bit of money, you move to the top of the favour track. And we'll come on to that in a second. Okay. I am actually going to skip ahead to the end of season now, just to let you know what will happen after we've all done this bit. Is uh, We'll adjust the turn order, and... You have to pay for your workers, and it's two gold per worker. Um, and then the market prices adjust based on this. So at the moment, if, if, if we are now in end of season, that will get removed. Because we're in the minus one column. So the more there are on there, the more, the more get removed. But the most important thing is you're going to need two money at the end of the season to pay for each worker that's on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there is a point... Obviously, at the moment, we've all put an extra worker on. I think that's a pretty much a standard opening move. We're probably all going to put another worker on next round. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then after that, you're going to think, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to somehow make six money around just to pay for my existing workers. There is a point where you decide to not put any workers on or put them on, use them, and then just don't pay them and take them off. You can do that, okay? So I could right now choose to not pay for any of my workers yeah. and take them off. Right, so if you don't pay them, they just come off. Yes, yeah. the only penalty. So you can put them on, get them to work, but then not pay them and they'll, they'll disappear. Poor fellas. Oh, no. <laughs> Times were hard. In those days. <laughs> right, so everybody clear about what's going to happen in the market phase? Mm -hmm. So we now... Oh, and the reason why you don't want to sell your goods <coughs> is because you need your goods to get sponsor an apprentice. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So let's have a thinky here. Uh, how's the player order going to change? So player order is going to change... Um, whoever has the fewest workers on the country boards will be the new start player. Right. And then up and up and up. If it's tied, it goes in order of the favour track. Okay. Oh, okay? Okay. And then the favour track will rejig. So at the moment, we've all got two. So we look at the favour track. So green will become the new start player, but then green will move to the bottom of the favour track. I see. So every time you cash in your favour, <coughs> uh, you move to the bottom of the track. Okay. Okay. So... Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the market with this lovely bunch of bananas. There we go. Oh, what a lovely colour. Right, so <laughs> my turn first, and I'm going to choose to sell, and I'm going to choose to sell this sheep. It goes there, and I get five money. Jing! Right, so obviously I'm going to sell mine for four. Yep. Well, it's still worth something. Let's have mine for three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should have seen this three coming. Money. <laughs> three money. One, two, three. Top. So I could take, as you've all sold, yeah, I could in theory take my guild. Yes, you can. Yep. 
turn You've got now. to do a guild action at some point this phase. Right. Okay, excellent. In that case... It's just which of those guild actions do you want to do? I will sponsor an apprentice. Okay. At this point, do you want me to explain what the different guilds do? Probably be a good okay. idea. Well, <laughs> there's a few bits of iconography which is important. First of all, if the banner is a joined banner between levels, and you see the little plus symbol here, uh -huh. that mm -hmm. means as you advance up that guild, you still get the benefits of the, the ones below. Oh, I see. Okay. However, if there's a banner that isn't connected, like this one, then as you move from that <coughs> level to that level, you lose the ability below. Mm -hmm. Okay. And also, some of the banners are highlighted in gold. They are no special ability, but they are end of game scoring points. Right. Okay, so let's go through them. And let's go through them, starting with number one. Why not? Uh, the Guild of Woolmen and Fishermen. So th this one is, is special because if you look, there is an icon mm. underneath. So which one you choose is important. Whereas these, it doesn't matter whether you go the left column or the right column. It's exactly the same. This it does. And if you're on the bottom, it means uh, one of the chosen, either a circular one, a square two, or a circular three, that does produce... As long as it produces, it produces an extra one. Okay? okay? As you move up to the next one, it means that each of the chosen circular spaces of the sheep or fish that you're on produces one. Notice the little icon here. It's the snowflake. Yeah. That means it does produce in winter. This is the difference. This is, it, if it produces, it produces an extra one. As opposed to, it produces an extra one. So in other words, in winter, its base production is zero, but if you were there, you would get one. And at the top, that's something that refers to something that I haven't explained yet. <laughs> at the end of the game, every pair of resources you have is worth five gold. So a pair of sheep. If you had four sheep, that would be ten points. Mm -hmm. That changes it to each one of them. So if you were on that space there, each sheep you have at the end of the game is five points. Okay. So that's what that does. Mm -hmm. Whenever you advance upwards, you can switch sides. You can say, I don't like sheep anymore. I'm going to go into fish. Okay? <laughs> right, this next one, the Guild of Mercers. It basically increases production of the square spaces. Uh -huh. Okay? Uh, the third one, the Guild of Master Craftsmen. Whenever you... So when you... Upon sponsorship, so in other words, the first time you place something on there, mm -hmm. you may exchange one resource for a luxury. Okay? So that's a one-off bonus that you get when you sponsor. As you move up, it basically means that when you're here, anytime you're receiving resources, you can say, no, I don't want that fruit, I'll have a luxury item instead. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then the top <coughs> one is trade two identical resources when receiving. Yeah. Up to two. Up to two. Mm -hmm. Right. Guild of Key Workers. That is the one which makes your key worker special. So if you're on the bottom of it, if you're the, um, the apprentice, mm -hmm. You don't pay for your key worker. Okay, so if your key worker was on the board and you went on there, then you don't pay for them. If you move up, then your key worker may share an area. Okay. And if you move up the top one, the key worker produces an extra two. And all, that's also in winter. So, yeah, that's that one. Do you hire the key worker the same way? Yes, you hire exactly the same. It's just you choose to put them on whenever you wanted to. So we could have done that earlier. And I will let you, at this point, if you wanted to swap the worker that you hired this round for the key worker, I will, I will let you do that. These limited spaces. So These are limited spaces, and, and you can't go in there twice. Okay. Okay, so you can only go in each guild once, and you're right, there's only two spaces. Once both of those spaces are occupied, nobody <coughs> else can sponsor an apprentice until one of them has moved up. Oh, okay. And then so the space office. opens again. There's yeah. only one master. There's only one master. Mm. The Taskmasters Guild uh, reduces the cost of hiring new workers. Um, well, it doesn't reduce. It, it makes it a fixed cost of two. Uh, this means you can repeat the hire action once, because normally you can only hire one worker. Uh, and then this gives 25 points at the end of the game if you have five different resources. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Guild of Wheelwrights um, reduces the cost of settling in a village, because it normally costs five, reduces it down to two. The middle line, if you are the craftsman, uh, it basically means that you've got six movement points for free, which you split between your, uh, your different workers. And then this one is all pairs are worth an extra three at the end of the game, so they're worth eight instead of five. And finally, the Guild of Gamers 
sponsorship costs one less resource, promotion costs one less resource, and this, if you are here, will give you points at the end of the game based on how far up your, your things are. Interesting. Mm. So yeah, so that's them. So which of those would you like? I reckon I'm going to pay two resources. Now these go back in. Got to be different. Yep. 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 These go back in here. Back in there. This is a finite supply, by the way. There's oh, 18 yeah. of each in a four-player game. It's a finite supply. If you ever get one and there isn't one, you get a gold. Right. But there are some extreme strategies where you get all of the apples mm. and hoard them and nobody else gets them. Okay? So, yeah, they, they are a finite. The only things that's not finite are these. Nice. The rulebook says if you run out of gold, use quill and parchment to record how much you've got. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right. Uh, I'm going to go in here so yep. I can settle in a village for two gold. For two gold. Okay. So that is your guild action done. Yep. So we move you to there. That doesn't mean you're out. Right. Okay. It just means you've used your guild action. Yeah. Right. It's back around to me. I'm going to look at everybody's board. Nobody else has got any of these, so I'm not in any rush. So I think I am also going to sponsor an apprentice, and I'm going to sponsor an apprentice with a fish and some vegetables. And that's then actually the one I was going to go with. So I think I will. Ooh, block on there. Blocked. I was looking at that one as well. <laughs> it's got well I, did, I, I didn't use that one in my last game. I used a different one. So. Mm. If you want to buy a sheep, that would help me out a, a lot. <laughs> my cup. Uh, Andy, yeah, you're good. Yeah, just just thinking. Uh, okay, I don't think I want to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need more thinking time, so I'm going to sell this round. Okay, so you get four. You only do one guild action. You only do one guild action, and when you've done your guild action, you move to there. Okay, and that means so it, it's a nice way of tracking who has done their guild action. Yes. Well, I'm going to do my guild action. And what are you going to do? I'll get rid of these two resources. <coughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back to Alan. So you have no choice. I'm going to sell my you sheep. You sell your sheep for a pittance. Yep, yeah, so that yeah. goes on there. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Uh, two minutes. Uh, back to me. Um, oh, I've done my guild action. Yes, yeah, so have I. So you've done your guild action. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sell that for three. One, two, three. Everyone else has done. You've done yours, haven't you, already? I've got a guild action to do. So let's let that go with this one and see how that pans out. All right. I uh, sell my okay. fish. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, you sell your fish. Three monies. Pass me three monies. Yeah, I'll leave it there if that's all right. Is that easy for you two to get to? Yeah, easy enough. Right, so we're done. We're now in the end of season <coughs> phase. Mm -hmm. So four things. First of all, adjust market prices. So this is in the minus one column, so that goes. This doesn't change. Uh, that goes. Uh, and that goes. Uh, that doesn't change, and that doesn't change. Remove season markers. So if we were in spring, we would now remove these markers and we would flip over the next ones. Because right. we've got one year ahead of knowledge of what's going to happen to the crops. Um, <coughs> now we pay or remove workers. This is done in player order. Okay. It is important because turn order is determined based on the number of workers you have on the board. Uh, yeah. But I am going to spend four to keep both of my workers on the board. Yeah. I'll do the same. One change. One change. Thank you. Guess what? Me too. Yeah. And me too. I, I think that's a standard thing. Right. New player order. So we all have two workers on the board. So we look at the favour track. Uh, so you've got the most favour. So you cash I in that. Red. Sorry. Green. You've got the most favour, so you cash in that favour, and you are the first player for the next season. Okay. Oh, right, who's next? It's still a tie. Who's got the most favour now? Me. Okay, so you cash in your favour, uh, you're next. That's exciting. Between me and you. So you cash in your favour, and you're next. Well, that seems <laughs> like a poor and now, turn. And now it's only me. <laughs> so I don't have to cash in my favour because I'm not tied with anybody. But because you're last, you can be first next so, time. So yeah, so that's how that, that's how that favour board works. I say, if you were to take cash as the guild action, you move to the top of the favour track. Mm -hmm. And that is the end of the first season. Right. So we go into the farming phase for spring, and this time 
these other actions that I kind of skimmed over might now be relevant. But first of all, do you want to move any of your workers? I reckon I... Ah, when it says settle, mm -hmm. does that mean I can put someone straight in? No, no, no. That's a that move means, into... Yeah, when you are yeah. moving into a village. Yeah, well, as I've done that, I suppose I better... Which one? Do I want one cabbage or one of those? I suppose you can't get in there, If you can go you? in there, you're... you're That's true, you can't. Can. You'd have to run all the way over here. Oh, so I've stitched myself up. You have, <laughs> you have. Oh, fantastic. Did you want to move that to there? I mean, only if that's yeah, acceptable. Well, that's, that's what you... Well, either there or there. Yeah, down there is fine. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Right. So it'll cost you two gold to move him. Yeah. And an extra two gold... Or one. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah, you could actually one. leave that one there and just move that one into there. You want to abandon the vegetables? Yeah. They're both producing one this turn, aren't they? They are. So it's just going to cost me the two gold to move in. Would it be two gold to move, right, and then another two gold to settle? Right, that okay. one would be three. That one would cost you three. I mean, it's all irrelevant actually because I don't have free gold. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so I might hire a worker instead. You're on a loan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So hiring a worker is going to cost you two gold. Yeah, which I do have. Okay. Not to give it away. Well, this is going incredibly well. But you didn't have three, but you had two. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you can guess how many I probably had. <laughs> two, two and a half. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So let's go. Hmm, I don't want to stick the. Let's go here. Why not? Okay. Uh, receive resources. So at this point, we do it. So what have you got? You got this one? Yeah. So that's one wheat. So you get one wheat. Uh, this one is one fish. And this one is one cabbage. Wow, look at that. There you go. So that's your receiving resources done. Would you like to promote a guild member? Um, it will cost you three different resources to I, move up. I don't think it's worth okay. it for me at this Would stage. you like to upgrade your farmhouse? I you don't have any don't luxuries, which no. means you can't do that, so you can't retire. So you are done for farming in spring. Okay, okay. Mr. Rick, sir. I'm uh, not going to move anyone. Okay. They look happy where they are. Are you going to hire a new worker? I am. So that costs three... Two. Two. One for every one you've got on the board. Oh, I see. Not plus one. No. Cool. So two money. Yep, two money. That's me a worker. I'm not going to go for my key worker. I'm just going to go for my normal fella. And... Let's go... Fishing. Okay. Uh, Square fishing. Uh, that fishing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so receive resources. So here you get two apples, mm -hmm. here you get uh, two sheep, mm -hmm. and here you get two fish. Mm -hmm. So I managed to put mine on a circle to only get one fish when there was a square available. Yeah. yeah. Excellent stuff. <laughs> I'm not uh, normally this bad. <laughs> <coughs> there were two squares. Well, we right. Do I want to promote someone? Do you want to promote someone? Hmm. Three or four resources. Three. Three different resources. Oh, it just says on here, play three or four yeah. resources. So if you were there, it would cost you four. Oh, I see. Yes. So. Three resources. Hmm. It should cost one less resource. It's better later than now. No, nope, I'll stay. You're not going to promote? Not okay. At the moment. Upgrading your farmhouse? You don't have any luxuries? Nope. So you can't do that, so you can't retire. So you're done. All right, Andy. Um, so I'll hire a worker to start with. May I have some change? No movement? Uh, no, no, no movement. Okay. And you've got two on the board, so it costs you two. Yep, it costs me two anyway. Oh yeah, it's always two, isn't it? It will yep. be for, for my future legions. Uh, let's go for fish. I like fish. Square fish. Yep. Right, so producing resources. Uh, yellow. So we have two wheat here, three fruit, Ooh. and two fish. Nice. Okay, would you like to promote? Um, <coughs> uh, yes, why not? Let's so it's three different resources. Okay, right. Yep, three different resources. And you move up to there. Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, and then upgrading your farmhouse you can't do, and retiring you can't do. Right, so my go. Do I want to move? Yes, I do want to move. I'm going to spend three. 
and I'm going to move this one from here into here because settling costs me two. Mm -hmm. I'm then going to hire a new worker. I have two on the board, so I pay two. Um, I think I'm going to bring my key worker into play. Ooh. Now, where am I going to put it? Let's not make a mess this time, like I did before. So, squares are good, unless it's a cabbage. Square cabbages are bad. I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah, right. Mm. Resources. So I get two fish. I get three fruits. I get one luxury item. Ooh. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so that's my stuff. Now, do I want to promote? Um, oh, that's good, mate. We've got six fields for nothing. Yeah, it is pretty good. Uh, and here. No, I'm not going to promote. I'm not going to upgrade my farmhouse and I'm not going to retire a worker. So that's me done. Right, so we go to market day. Hey. Off we go. Everybody decide what they <coughs> are going to get rid of to the market. And I'll get first dibs this time. In the selling, yes. Now then. Now then, now then. And you only get one guild action. Okay. Gosh. Surprise, surprise, everybody's selling fruit. <laughs> this is not going to end well. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. Right. So if I sell first, do you I sell, sell both of them? You, sell, you, the you can time? sell both of them. You don't have to. Yeah. But you probably want to. I, I will. So, so you sell, sell both, both of them, of you will get six, but one of them goes on there, of course it does. and the other one goes back in the supply. So you get six money. Six nice, money. look at that. Okay. Red. Right. Hmm. I had a sort of plan here. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> going to sell your fruit before me. I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> totally do that. So three money? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Andy comes along and sells his. So one goes on there, the other one goes to supply, you get four money. Uh, I will sell this fish for three. Four monies. Three. Back to you, Alan. Yeah. So you've got your guild action. I have. Now, does that cost two? Cost one. It costs one, because that's yeah. okay. And I you might... can buy two. Oh, you I, my... I believe you can buy two of them. Uh, buy one or two resources oh, right. of the same seven. type from the market. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So you could buy two fruit for two. I will do that. Bargain. Bargain. That's uh, brilliant. One, two, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. So those two go off and then you get six. Exactly. Oh. You just made Paul a lot of money. Jing. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to do my... So we've made an alliance now. Yeah. So that's, that's how that works. I'm taking one too many. Definitely. I'm going to do my guild action. action. Yeah. Okay. And what are you going to do with your guild action? I'm going to... Go there. Yeah, which costs you one resource because of your Guild of Gamers. It certainly does, one fishy fish. Okay, and at the point that you place that there, you may trade one of your resources for a luxury. Where are my people? And then there, what's happening next? I'm going to be doing that. So let's go with another fish. Okay, and you get a luxury. Right. Andy. Uh, okay, I guess I've got to do some more selling. Uh, let's ditch that for three. Three money. Mm. Well, um, I can have two. a five. There you go, I have a five. I might take the, the tens out and just put them to one side. There's a 50 here. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Right, my go. I'm going to sell these two things. So I get six money. To Alan. Um, You're done, I'm you? done, I think. Yeah. You are done, right, okay. Uh, oh, that should have gone there. No, oh, sorry. You've um, already had your guild action, so you have to sell that. 
Do you get too many? No, it goes there. Oh, sorry. It's only if there's more than one. Two more for me. You. Uh, I will sell that for five. Uh, for my guild action, I will take cash. So it's five minus the number of workers you have. Uh, oh, actually, wait. Let me just see. I've got one, two, three workers. So that's going to cost me six in workers. Yeah. For gold, isn't it? Actually, I maybe I'll buy instead. Okay. Mm. I'll buy two fish. Okay. So crush two. Could done it earlier. So that's your guild action done. So <coughs> in my guild action, I am going to use these two, and I am going to sponsor a new apprentice. Ooh. I'm going to go into the guild of key workers. He's got the key worker out. So I've got this one out. So I don't have to pay for him. Uh, that's my guild action done. Actually, can I take that back? Can and, you go? Uh, do the favour instead. So, so, so I've taken my two gold back. Yep. I will have two gold for the favour instead, and bump myself up on the trade track. Right. So we're all done. It's now the end of season. So we adjust the market prices. So that one goes. 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 Okay. So let's get those back mm -hmm. in the places. Remove the season markers. So now we do remove them. And now we reveal what's going to happen in year two. So there we go. So cabbages are good next spring, but somebody's killed all the sheep. Sad face. Paying or removing of workers. And again, this is done in turn order. So you need to decide how many of yours you're paying for or removing from the board. Mm, I'm going to pay for two and remove one. Okay, so you pay four. Take this one off. Hit. Never liked it anyway. No, <laughs> exactly. Put me in the wrong place to start with. <laughs> Rick? I'm going to do the same thing, so I'm going to pay for two and remove one. Okay. So four money goes in, mm -hmm. and this fella's coming off here. Okay. Um, I'll, I don't know, do I join the club and go back to that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will. You will? Since I can double hire anyway. You can? So who's going so home? I will ditch ditch that one. Not terribly useful on there at the moment. Uh, he comes back here. Yep. I am going to pay for all of mine, but I don't need to pay for the key worker. So I just pay for. Mm -hmm. Okay. New player order. Well, I have three on the board, and everybody else has two. So I'm definitely last, right? But between you three. Mm -hmm. Yellow cashes in your favours, move to the bottom, and then it is tied for, for you two. So green, you cash in your favour, move to the bottom, and then that goes there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are now in summer of year one, and we're in the farming phase. So, mm -hmm. right, so I'm going to hire two workers. Gosh, yeah, you can. So the first one costs you two, two. as two. does the second one. Oh, because you've got that, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay, let's see. Those cabbages look good this round, don't they? So let's put one here. That's why I needed to be on top of the turn. Right. Like a, um, yeah. What else have we got? I don't particularly Because yeah, that area square is now... tomatoes. No, square tomatoes are bad this season. So I moved about mm -hmm. Apple, yeah. apples. Uh, Sorry, somewhere yeah, away apples. from my existing mm -hmm. population. So um, I could go for a square vegetable, but I'm a bit veg heavy then. Resources are good. Yeah. What's going on next round? 
Yeah, grain will be good next time. Circular grain will be good next time. Circular grain square, will be good. Square, square grain's square terrible. Grain I may abandon. So, so let's stick someone down there. Uh -huh. Right, receive your resources. So you get one wheat for this one. You get two wheat for this one. You get three vegetables for this one. And two fish for that one. Got these goods. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, promoting. Would you like to promote somebody? Um, that's not of any benefit till the end of the game. Correct. Is it? So, in which case, no, I wouldn't like to promote okay. anyone. Uh, upgrading your farmhouse. I have no nope. luxuries. So you can't retire. Okay. You're done. Green. Uh, yeah, I'm not moving or hiring okay. any workers. So let's do your income. Mm. So this is one wheat. Okay. Uh, this is three veg. Well, that's something. There you go. Thank you. So promoting. And that's four resources. Three. Well, where are you? I, I'm here. Yeah. So it's three different ones to move up to a craftsman. Right. And then okay. it would be another three, four so. on a separate turn to move up and that, let's to the master. Six fields. No, I don't think that's worth it with me. I need me two okay. workers out at the moment. So uh, upgrading and retiring. I'm guessing no. So we're done. Uh, I'm going to hire somebody, I believe. Any movement first? Nope. You happy with them? Yep. <laughs> hire two monies. Yep. Key fella. Okay. It's going there. Yeah. Good old circular vegetables. Yep. Uh, that's it for that. So I get my money. I get my stuff. So you get three vegetables yep. for this one. You get two sheep for this one. Yep. And you get two fishes for that one. Cool. Right. So, moving. Do I want to move? I'm quite happy with <coughs> that one. Although, mm. Mm, double luxury. <laughs> sweet, sweet luxury. Fresh. It is nice. But double fishes is also nice. Um... Yeah, okay, let's not move anybody, but I will spend three to get another worker. Can I be a real pain and pretend I bought my key worker this round? Or yeah, go it on, it's fine. Yeah, I'll just switch him in over here. No, we're not allowed, because I did my key worker. <laughs> <laughs> so what don't I want? I don't want square fruit. Anything else is okay. Are there any square fields still available that I can go on? I can't go in any of these. That's the thing. Once you're in a village, mm. you can't be anywhere else on that tile. Mm. Uh, I'm you your blue, aren't you? Um, so, yeah, but I could go. No, you can't go in there because that's fish joint. I could go there. But what's good next? Circular wheat is good next season. Yeah. So... <coughs> there? No, it's no, okay, it's isn't it? It's next to my person, so no, it's not. <laughs> 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 I'll throw bales of hay. <laughs> uh, right, so I get two fish. I get one fruit. I get one luxury. And I get one wheat. There you are. Okay, thank you very much. And promoting, I think I do. So I'm going to spend that one, that one, and that one. So I spend three different resources. Pop, pop, and pop. To promote this one to here. I'm not going to upgrade my farmhouse and I'm not going to retire a worker. So that is it. We are now in market day. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. Interesting. You didn't tell them to decide. No, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have very much left. <laughs> Since I've just promoted and spent most of my stuff. That's going to have to be... Just, I'll mention this now. When you retire, mm -hmm. the retiree can come from there, or here, or here. 
Oh, okay. So you can remove your bonus. You can, yeah. Interesting. Uh, once retired, they don't come out of retirement. And you don't have your if end game thing, I yeah, assume. Exactly. You lose that if yeah. it's there. And you don't get the end points, which are on. So generally, you want to retire from the board or here, yeah. I think. But you, you can go from there. Luxury and a fish. Mm. Oh, 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 look at all that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going first, don't I? No, uh, second. No, no second. Going first. Oh, yeah. So um, remember, you're selling batches of two, or one or two. There is a guild uh, in one of the other guilds that allows you to sell in batches of three. Mm -hmm. So we've got lots of green stuff going on. I really want to sell this, but if I do, am I going to miss out on getting the guild worker? That's the thing. I think. I'm going to have to do the guild action. And just as a reminder, in winter, nothing produces. <laughs> so, yeah, but you still have to pay your workers? Yeah. Oh. So, <laughs> they're not producing anything. But. <laughs> Stupid workers. But. Well, no, I say nothing produces. Ah, uh, yes, they do, don't they? They do. And that's guild action. So, you did your guild action? Yeah, yeah okay. I'm pay the key worker. So, it's going to cost me a little in resources, but. Mm -hmm. I was going to get that if I while. Yeah. <coughs> I think I will sell these. Sell your vegetables. So yeah. one goes on the board and you get six money. There you go. Thank you. Mm. I'm going to do my guild action. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm going to... only costs me one because one, I'm putting that person there. Yep. Oh, it's looking okay. crowded. Meh. I'm going to sell this little fishy. <coughs> For two. Uh, we're back to me. Yep. Let's see. Uh, we've still got one of each of those to go. So. Sell them two six. And get six for your two wheat. Nice. Mm. I might, right, mm, yeah, there's no one of them, okay, I might take some cash. So how many workers do you have on the board? Two. So you get three money. Yeah, that's a terrible move, I'm going to take that back. And you can also <laughs> you can take you move you to the top of the favour chart, which is pretty handy. Yeah, but I've only got two workers on. Well, then, mind you, you don't know how much you guys are going to take back, do we? Oh, yeah, go on, and then it's going to so take the guns. So yeah. that's your guild action done. I. So that was four. When did you get one of them? Oh, fuck, I missed that. Yeah. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think they're wrong. So they're me. Um, yeah. Well, I'll sell up three. <laughs> We kept it. Yeah. Sell up to two. Two. Thank you. Got done, don't you? Oh, yeah. Sell these. Still got still. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sell these for four. Yep. Two, three, four. Thank you. <laughs> Sell up for three. We're running out of ones. Right, well I've got my guild action, and this is where I think I was going to do something different. I was going to buy. Mm. And I think I'm going to buy two fish. For two monies? Two monies for two fish. Yes. Thank you. And that's my guild action, Todd. So we just go around until everybody's sold everything. Got a fish. So, and these fish. Worth about three. That was handy. Oh, <laughs> didn't see that. <laughs> We're out of. Uh, I don't know what I've got. Trade a two for a five. There you go. 
And then you sell your vegetable for one. Money I want, you know. Okay, so, end of season, adjust market prices. That one comes off, that one comes off, those two come off. That one comes off, that one comes off, and that one comes off. Do you mind doing the honours? Yeah. There you go. Remove season markers. So that one goes, that one goes, and we reveal what will happen next year. Mm. Paying or removing workers. So, <coughs> yellow. Andy, you need to decide first what you're doing with your workers. Yeah. Um, I will allow this one to expire. Okay. And pay for the other three. Well, minus. You don't pay one, for that one, do you? Three. So you pay four. Thank you. I'll pay four for my two. Four for your two workers. What's the current coming up? Wheat squares. Good circular wheat, bad square wheat. Mm, nothing looks very exciting anyway, so I'm going to pay for all three of my fellas. Six. Okay. I'm going to pay for all four of mine, but the key work is free. So I'll pay six. New player order. Well, I'm last, because I've got four. You've only got two on the board, is that right? Yes. So you're first. And then it's you, you two are tied on three, is that yeah. right? Yeah. So who's got the most favour? Me. So you move to the bottom of the favour track. And then you are second. Okay, okay. Right. Sure. So it's autumn. Or fall, for the American viewers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and remember, winter. Uh oh. We can produce it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll it does. We'll forget. It, it does say in the rule book in about three different places. And as I was reading the rule book for the first time, I was like, "Why does it keep saying this rule?" And then I played it for the first time, and I got to winter, and I was like, "Oh right, yeah, that's why." Because I was just about breaking even mm. with just ha having enough money, and then suddenly went, "Oh yeah." Uh, so, yeah. Oh. It's right. a nice mid-season, uh, mid-game mid bump. Mm. Okay. Well. I think... So moving workers first, yeah. if you want to. As I actually went there on the very first turn and haven't used it yet. Okay. I might as well move my worker in. Yep. For free. That one's going yeah. in there. Definitely. Because it's... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to move in this turn, mm. but... Now that space is good, but I can't go there now, can I? Because he's in there. Correct. Yeah. Um, I reckon I might just have to stay put with that then. Okay. Because winter is coming and all that. So, are you hiring any new workers? Uh, no. Right, so resources. So you get from here, <coughs> gosh, you get three wheat and a luxury. Thank you Would much. you like to promote anybody? Remember, a luxury can be used as two resources. resources. Any, any two resources. Yeah, I think I will promote that fella there. For a luxury... Look, you're in one of them. Yep. One of it, yeah. So he goes up to he here. Goes up. Mm, denying me mm -hmm. any movement really for the moment. Uh, upgrading, farmhouse, and retiring. Nope. Nope. Right. So you're done. Right. I'm going to move. Okay. Who's a moving? Yep. Yeah. So Across one, three. two. Is it four? Because I've got this. Yeah, you can't move. Can't move Okay, okay so four. Go to here and see the sheep. First. So one, two, three, four? Yeah. It's lucky. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's it. Okay, resources. Mm. So you get a luxury item from here. Yep. You get two sheeps from here. Yep. You get two fishes from here. Yep. And that's it. Okay. Do you want to promote? Uh, don't want promote, to promote, upgrade, and retire. Yeah. Let's promote. So three different resources. Yeah. Sheep. Yep. A veggie and a fish. Okay. And then further promotions cost you one less. Yeah. Although this is a bit annoying. Okay. Just out of curiosity. Hypothetically speaking. Could you hire <laughs> someone directly onto a village no. for a cost of five? No. 
You just so you have to hire them one turn yep. and move them yeah, the following yeah, round. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to hire two people again. So your first one costs you two. As does oh the yes, second yes, sorry, yes, yes. Gosh. Uh, let's see. Where do I want to go? What's got good resources? Something square. What don't I have? Square, have not sheep. square, and not wheat. And uh, already got that area. Uh, let's go down here as well. Okay. So let's give you some resources. You get three wheat for this one. You get one vegetable for this one. You get two sheep for this one. And you get two fruit for that one. Probably should have moved the key worker, but never mind. <coughs> Not too late, if you want to. One gold for one extra veg. Yeah. yeah can I have four change? <laughs> I don't want to stitch myself up too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so promoting. Promoting, upgrading and retiring. Um, yeah, let's do a promotion <coughs> for three. Going last sucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can move up one. Mm -hmm. Right, moving. Well, I was going to move into another village. However, and now I can't move. I can't move into this area. I can move through it, but I can't move into it. Um. So that's good. So. Do I go absolutely bonkers crazy? Again? Yeah. I don't... I don't know whether I do. I think hiring a fifth worker is possibly a bit crazy. Just before winter. I mean, even if I don't pay for them, it, it's still... It's mm -hmm. still going to cost me all the money that I'm going to need in winter. I'm going to starve as part I, of I, I will <laughs> completely stitch myself up if I do. I'm, I'm just getting greedy. Um, no, <laughs> don't listen to the voices. Okay, so I'm not going to move anybody. Oh no, I can move up to six fields for free. Yeah. Ah. Well, in that case, you save so much money. In that case, I can go all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um. So I could potentially settle in this village for a cost of two only. Totally. I think I do. Villages produce in winter. I think I do. Yeah. I think that's just a, a, a better move. Definitely is. Right, done. Two fish, please. Mm. Uh, two luxuries Ooh. and three wheat. Nice. Now, you are promoting. Do I want to promote? <sighs> I think I do. So I'm going to have to use a luxury as two things, and then a fish as the other thing. And I'm going to promote, no, sorry, a fish and a wheat, because I'm promoting that one to there. Mm -hmm. interesting. Now that is interesting, because I'm just looking, that banner is not connected. <coughs> so I've now lost those two abilities. Mm -hmm. That's harsh. Okay, it's fine. Living with it. That, yeah. I'll deal with the consequences. Right. Um, so that was receiving resources. That was promoting. Cost me four. Upgrading. I'm going to upgrade. Yeah. I think I'm going to upgrade. I was thinking what it does. Mm. So I spend this. So I spend a wheat, a something else, and a luxury. I've now upgraded. So that is worth 15 points at the end of the game. And now every worker I retire is also worth an additional 15 points at the end of the game. And although there's only three spaces, if you look here, mm -hmm. that it's unlimited how many workers you can retire. Right. Right. Market. Market. Oh, this is where it all falls apart. Mm. Then again, I'm in two villages. Might be okay. 
Might be okay. What's everyone else could be selling? Ah, you're thinking too much about it. Go with instinct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Winter's coming. <laughs> the stock set. <laughs> Sell all your stuff. <laughs> right. Let's see how badly I've judged this. I reckon I'd better go with fish first, probably, and I. Okay, fish for three. Fish for yeah, hang on, that's gonna Fish are gonna crash, yeah. Yeah, but I've only got one and I've got two. The other one. That only go down by one. No, fish down by one. Down fish go down by two. I mean, well, pretty much exactly the same position, position, yeah. But you'll just stitch up. Yeah, now I'll go with the fish. fish. Yeah. Definitely. Now, it's an interesting proposition. Do I sell my fish for six, or do I sell my sheep for nine? You can only sell well, two at a time. Can you? So you've got two batches of fish. Of to sell. Oh. Yeah, and that's and one of the things that upgrading does, yeah. doesn't it? It allows you to sell three, or have I got uh, that wrong? No, one of the guilds allows you ah, to sell right. three. Not Let's in this game. But one of the is it the manor house as well, isn't it? Upgrade Firehouse to manor house to yeah. sell batches of three, three to, to market. market and to retire workers. Oh, yeah. So you can sell. Okay, I, I misunderstood that then. So apologies for that, yes. So once you have a manor house, you can sell batches of three. No, I, right. I thought I'd read it somewhere. I know, I should have done that last time. You should take over teaching the video, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Is that the rules? Okay, let's go with six money for the sheep. Uh, well, only one goes on, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, the manor house so and the guild of merchants will give the ability to sell, they increase the size of the batch. That'll yeah. drop by one, that can drop by one. Not that, that it can helps me. <laughs> no, it's all going to be about the same. So I shall sell that one for three. There you go. I did something wrong. I did something wrong. Can I take back one of my resources? Oh, I don't know because that that might affect oh, thing, right. might affect things. I mean, I'm happy if everybody else is happy. Uh, it was a double sell, wasn't it? So no, no, I just want to put one back here rather than oh. selling them all. Um, <laughs> I'm happy with I, that. I, I'm happy. Learning game. I, yeah. I'm, I'm not doing the fish. How about that? Okay, it's fine. There you go. Right. Ah, that might oh, well, probably yeah, that might change what I'm doing here. But. Okay, go on, pop it back there. Yeah, if it changes what somebody else would have done, then. Right, where are we up to? Is it me? I believe so. So I will sell the fish. So I get four money. That goes there, that goes there. One, two, three, four money. And back to Al. Mm. There's no more No more for them, so is there? Yeah. Guild action or sell them. I'll do... I'll do a guild oh, press action. Mm, no, I can't do that. Which gives Yeah, I'll, uh, oh, well. two resources to sponsor. So this is your guild action? Yep. Yeah. And I'll go here, why not? Okay. Is that worth any points as well? No, there's no points. Hmm. I'm starting to regret that move a bit, aren't well, <laughs> you? Well, I lose those well. points. So I've lost 10 points by moving up. All pairs all pairs are plus three. Actions. Actions. You have a lot of goods at the end. It's powerful if you've got a lot of resources. All pairs are worth an extra three. So I've got to have at least yeah. four pairs Eight resources. for it yeah. to yeah. pay for itself. The trouble is, most of your workers are on the <coughs> villages, so you're not going to do no. that. <laughs> I think those two strategies have kind of not worked. Yeah. Ah, but he can move, can't he? I can, you can move back. Oh no, because he's lost that, isn't he? Yeah, he lost that as well. Yeah. Um, right, um, How not to play. Yeah. Well, between me and Paul, we've got that. <laughs> yeah, we got that sort of pretty sorted, haven't we? Yeah. So, well, yeah, I'm going to do my guild action sponsor to that. I'm only paying one resource, but I've only got that. And you don't get change? No. No. That was why I wanted one resource back. Right. I mean, in theory, though, he can't sell. He's not actually allowed to take all those free fish to the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah multiple yeah, ones go here. Two. Oh, of course, you can. Yeah, one, multiple yeah, vouchers. Sorry. Uh, your next, Andy. Uh, right. So, what have we got left? There's still those and those. No, all oh, still got to be sold. Let's 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 be nice and do this one instead. Oh, nice. Well, it depends on whose perspective you're looking at. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> um. Okay, so I will use my action at the market to 
buy two wheat. Buy a guild action to buy two wheat. Mm. There we go. Pull this one at the top of the Guild of Gamers. Yes. Two, four, six. Did that six count here? Yes. Good. Right, I'll uh, sell both of these for the four. Chuck me it. Right, I need a new plan. Cheap. Two. Just a quick question. In theory, if you wanted to, could you use a guild action to buy a couple of sheep for one e uh, fish for one each, and then sell two back? For That's six exactly what I'm one. just doing. Yeah, okay. I, I've just bought two wheat, and I'm going to sell that one back to get more for it. Okay. Right. Well, let's sell this one for two. Now I can uh, change up for a five. Right. We got it for oh, now. Okay. Um, so yeah, I now sell. That for three. Take five. Put two back. <laughs> I sell that for one. I am probably going to buy a luxury for three. Mm -hmm. um, I'm right in thinking that's the only cost for the mana upgrade. It, it's all of that, later, isn't it? One of the everything was there. Okay. Yeah, big, so you'd have a fish at the end. Any of those things in the middle, one of them, and a luxury. Uh, okay. That's an expensive upgrade. Yeah. Mm. It's nice though. Oh, I've yeah. got a couple of chimneys. Well, let's <laughs> let's buy one of those things anyway because I'm going to need it. So I just said that last time for to read that bit. Oh, well. mm. <laughs> I could have sold more than three. Mm. I forgot that. Uh, that's my question done. Yep. Yeah. Uh, did I take it? Oh, I took one from the. The thing instead, so yeah, that's right. So still me? Uh, yeah, I'm out, you're out. So, just so technically, two. it's just me. You sell those two for sell one. Those two. For two? For one two, each. yeah. But only one goes on there. Yeah. And then Andy sells your sheep. Does one. that mean they can't be sold at no, all they can. now? Yeah, they yeah, still can. They can still be sold at one. Which I'm going to do. Yeah. Does, does that, go no, on that does go on. It does go on there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Stack them up. Okay, so we're all... Have you done your guild action? Yes. Uh, so we should have done that. Right, end of season. Adjusting the market prices. So that goes, that goes, those two go, those two go, and those two go. There you go, thank you all. Mm -hmm. uh, removing the season markers. There you go, and we reveal these. So that is now so the forecast for next year all done. And dusted. Ooh, interesting. Just to let you know, in the second round, you do <coughs> not do the end of season thing. So you don't have to pay for your workers in the final round okay. of game. Pay or remove workers. So in player order, green, what are you going to do with your workers? I reckon I'll pay two to keep one of them on. Mm -hmm. This one coming off? Going economical. Indeed. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Red. Uh, well, we're not going to produce anything, are we? Nope. Cost money to put but they've on. worked hard for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to keep one on and take two off. Guys, unions. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and the one I'm keeping on is my keyboard, which I don't pay. Oh, right. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to ditch that guy because fish are pretty rubbish um, this round. Uh, everything's everything's rubbish. rubbish apart from well, the Well, fish are going to be rubbish for a while because everyone's been overfishing and they've got a zero coming up. How many of the others do I want to keep? I can replace them pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. so, so maybe I'll save some money and get rid of all three. Actually, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave him there. <laughs> nah, ditch them all, ditch them all. Okay. Commit to the strategy. You're keeping your key work around. Obviously, because yeah. I don't pay for him. Yeah. He's free. Mm. We say obviously, it might, might well, get you an keeping advantage that one. in the Keeping that one, that's free. Oh, actually, before I... Um, Make that decision. Can I just clarify, if I retire a worker, that can be from here or the board? Yes. Right, so, okay, so yeah, fine. If it's, it's this one, what am I going to do with this one? I think I'm going to keep it there. 
but I'm going to last next turn and then I will have three workers out again and oh it's so difficult <laughs> no go on I'm going to pay for three of them six monies <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> I think. New player order. Uh, well, I'm last. I've only got one person on board. Me too. And so have I. Okay, so green. Yeah. You cash in your favour and you become the first player. And then yellow. You cash in your favour and become the second player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Nobody went on here. So the things that give you the production in winter, nobody's gone for them. Mm. Right, we are now in year two. So things that we have missed in the rules. We kind of mentioned end of game scoring. Your manor house is worth 15. Every retired worker is 15. The guild members are worth the points printed on them. And then you've got the extra ones based on the gold banners. And then pairs of resources are worth five. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's that. Yeah, we kind of touched on each of those things, but not actually gone through them in detail. Right then, so year two. Alan's first. Mm. It is winter. Yeah. All the villages are taken, aren't they? Yes. Yep. Okay, I w won't move or put anyone down. And then I will take... Yeah, hang on a minute. Can I just... I'm just rethinking my... Yeah, I thought it was going to produce one. No, I will take that one back if that's okay. okay. I'm, I'm cutting, it, cutting it way too fine. Change doesn't oh, change anything, because I've, yeah. I've still got three on the board. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Right, so I'm not moving, I'm not yep. hiring, I'll so you, take you one. You get a luxury. Luxury, there you good. Go. Right, promoting, um, upgrading and retiring. Three or four, no, no. Okay. Right, I, oh, that's interesting. Mm. Okay, I'll pay one to move my key worker mm -hmm. over here. Mm -hmm. And I will not be hiring any new workers or receiving any goods, but I will be upgrading my farmhouse. Okay, so a fish, something else, and a luxury. Fish, a luxury, and a miscellaneous. Let's go for this. Okay, you now have a manor house. Hurrah. Great. Break. Uh, I'm not putting anyone down. Mm -hmm. I'm not moving anybody. Okay. So receive a luxury good. Get a luxury. Anything else? Um, no. I mean, promotion costs one less, but I need to have something to take to market, do I not? What if, I'm well, going, if I, you don't have anything to go to market, oh, yeah, you, you don't go to market and you reveal your screen. Interesting. <laughs> but it's only promote, isn't it? It's not sponsor. Can't sponsor anyone. Can we promote someone at this point? At this point, yes. Yeah. Nothing that exciting, I think. Mm. Well, maybe it will. Maybe okay. I will promote. So three different resources, or four different resources. So that's two. Yes. Yeah, so oh, and promotion is one less. Yeah, promotion costs okay. one less. <clears throat> That's when receiving resources. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and my go, I'm not doing anything. I might move that one. Yeah, I'm going to move that one. So I'll move that one. But it doesn't produce now, but I do get two luxuries. Can I have two potion Sorry. purple thingies? Thank you very much. Well, right. yeah. I'm not promoting and I'm not retiring. And that is it. So market day. I'm not going to market. So you've got to reveal your screen. We see how much money you've got. Loads. Look at that. Right. Crack your Riley. Sold all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you'd sold all your stuff and didn't have money, it'd be a worry. It would it? <laughs> Swap my cows for magic beans. Mmm, <laughs> right. Yeah, I think everyone's going to be selling that, so I thought I'll use it yeah, instead. Yeah, go last again. Right, 
Uh, well, you sell that for four. Sell that for four, yeah. And I guess you sell yours for three. <laughs> four. Thank you. Ooh, which uh, I'll have a, a five. What did you sell? Uh, I think for three. A wheat. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're going to do your guild action? Oh, I still get to do a guild action. Still get to do a guild action. Ah, well, that's that's a positive. Of course, you've got no resources. I've got no resources to, uh, yeah. to do anything. So you buy, or just take cash. Take cash. I've only got one worker on so there. You get four money. I get four money. I can and you move to the top of the favor drive. Oh, just like that. Right now, what do I want to do? What am I blue? Yeah. Should have gone with that. Definitely should have gone with that. Um. Okay. I will sell that for three. Two. Can either get much cheaper now. Should have waited. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it's green. I'll do a guild action mm -hmm. and I'll sponsor for one because of this. Yep. And I'll go on here because no one else has. Yep. <laughs> Your guild action? Um, I am going to buy some fish. Two gold for two fish? Two gold for two fish. Seems a good deal to me. There you go. Uh, I will sell that for two. And then I will use my guild action to buy two wheat for two. Okay, so end of season. Mm -hmm. Adjusting the market prices. So that goes, that goes, that goes, and that goes. There you go. Get rid of them. Uh, remove season markers, if it was spring. Uh, pay or remove workers. Nothing for me to pay. In which order do it? Turn order. So current turn order. I've Re got one. Yep. So that's two. You don't pay your key worker. Nothing. Nope. Neither do I. I pay four for those two. Mm -hmm. And then turn order. So I'm last. I've only got one worker on board. You got one worker on the board. You got one worker on the board. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've got one worker. On yeah, the right. Board. So it's this again. So red will go first. Yeah. Cash in favour. Uh, then it'll be green, oh. and then it'll be yellow. So green moves to the bottom. There we go. Right. So we are in spring. So mm. square sheep are not in season. They're bad. Whereas, bad. Oh dear. Uh, very good. <laughs> Whereas circular vegetables are all the rage. <laughs> Cabbages. Okay, so I'm starting. Uh, you are, yes. I don't want to move anyone. My one guy is not going to move. Okay. But I'm going to hire somebody. It cost me one for each system, which is going to cost me one. Yep. And my fella is non surprisingly going to go on a round vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is actually a maximum of two, not two. <coughs> what was yeah, that again, sorry. Well, the new works cost two. That. Yeah, cost a maximum of two. Oh, so excellent. Excellent. So if it was cheaper, three for yeah. two workers. Yeah, I thought I might I thought, have shot myself in the foot a bit there. I thought that can't be right. New workers cost two. Yeah, it's not right. It, it's new workers cost a maximum of two. Right. I will, excellent. That saves me a gold piece. I will ask Richard to put that on the on the new thing. So I had hired one worker, so now I res receive my resource because I can only hire one worker, can I? So you can. I get one luxury. So what are you read? You get a luxury for this, and you get three cabbages for that. Yeah. And now I can promote someone if I wanted to. You can. You can upgrade and retire and do all of those things. Hmm. Um. No, I won't. Okay. <laughs> Tough decision, but okay. well. Right. So I hire all my work, so if I want to hire two workers, I do it both now. You can only hire one. You can only hire one. Scrap that then. Undy special. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will hire one worker then, in that case. 
and I'll put the key power down. Oh, um, so I might trade one resource, one luxury, and receiving resources. Yeah, so when you got the cabbages, I've yeah. got an extra thingy. There are no circular cabbages left. Mm -hmm. Nope, none that are viable. Pretty upsetting. You could set yourself up on a circular corn. And, uh, oh, I thought a square fish. Oh, yeah, I'll go for a square fish. Square fish are okay. There's plenty of square fish around, mm -hmm. but not yeah. in summer. Yeah, I can't go there. Do you mind, because I forgot that I got that, that I could do a promotion. Yeah, go on. Yeah. One green, one purple. Because one flash costs one less to update that to that. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, you all done, Alan? Oh yeah, sorry, I'm all done, yeah. Do you, do you need to collect resources and stuff? Oh yeah, I should probably do that. You fish, can have some resources. Yeah. So, so you get two fish, uh, uh, three, because of that, I think. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Three fish. Wow, look at that. Three fish and a, and a luxury. Look at that. Back Anything in the else? game. Um, promote, upgrade. No, that is. Uh, oh, hang on. I could promote. Uh, which would cost me three resources. Different resources, yeah. Mm -hmm. Depends on them. Depends on different. Oh, yeah. Promote this person. Hang on, shouldn't that cost you three? You just paid two, didn't you? Uh, yeah, but one of them was a ah, luxury. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to hire two workers. But three this time. And I'm going to set myself up on... Let's go for... Uh, that one. And I've already got some vegetables on the way, so... Being able to buy two people is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Maybe some grains. Okay, so production. Yep. Two fruit. Uh, two wheat. Three cabbages. That's it, isn't it? Uh, yep, yep, just three dudes this time. Uh, okay, so. Promoting. Uh, I won't promote this time, but I will retire. Okay. Ooh, four resources. Yep. Yep. No problem. Uh, go Who's going to retire? Yeah. One there. One there. One there. And this one of those retires. Yep. So you just pop them on there. It's fifteen points. Wow. Right. So me. Um, I'm not going to move anybody around because that's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to hire another one. So I get two luxuries and three cabbages. And do I want to do any retiree nonsense? I think I might. Yeah. So there you go. Four things. Not okay. bad on there. Uh, yeah. Right. Market day. Hmm. Right. Well, I'm going last again. <laughs> Always going last. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. this time. Uh, you're first. Mmm. <laughs> Sell cabbage or guild direction. out there. There's a cabbage over there. Yeah. Do I want to do a guild action? Yeah. 
to be money. <coughs> yeah, I will sell the fish for free. Uh, I guess I'd better sell these. For four. Yeah, I think five for four mark. Both red. Yeah, and me again. So it's guild, guild action time. time. Yep. By a maximum of two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is <laughs> that decision out there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that makes my mind up. I will do a sponsor. And, uh, it's an easy five points, isn't it? Yeah, let's go for that one. Um, I better sell sh sheep for three. Sheep for three. I think I'm going to sponsor with a luxury. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? And what's going on? Yeah, let's go in here. Uh, so that was my guild action. You had your guild action, didn't you? Yes, sorry. Because you didn't move this. Oh, and this, uh, it's, it's, it's just you now, yeah. Alright, so I think I should probably do a sponsorship. I'm running out of workers now. Is the problem? Um, what looks useful? Probably this one. Okay, and then you sell your cabbage. Yep. For two. And that's it. That is the end of spring, spring in year two. Uh, so end of season, adjust the market prices, so those three go, uh, we remove those, and pay workers, so red. Two money, so I don't pay my key. Okay. Green. Uh, four money, because I do. Hello. Um, just... Pay two, and I'll let that one come back here, so I can rebuy him anywhere I like. And I'm going to pay four for mine. And then new player order. So I have three. I've got two, two, two. Okay, so it's between you three again. <laughs> so uh, yellow. Uh -huh. uh, then red. My okay. non-paying worker paid off. There you go. Okay, so we are now in summer of year two, Ooh. the penultimate season. Right, do Farming. I want to move the cabbage dude. Possibly. So wheat is good at the moment, isn't it? Um, so for movement, I'm going to send him onto that space. Yep. And then for four more, I will hire a couple of people. Um, probably want. Probably want sheep, and I've got fruit, <laughs> sheep, except for fish, but fish aren't worth their thing, so let's go for grain. Okay, so probably want those sheep. So that gives me um, two veg, two grain, two sheep, and two fruit. <sighs> Say again. <laughs> <laughs> two of everything except fish. There you go. Two veg, two sheep, two wheat, and two fruit. Yep. All right. Right. 
Okay, Gosh. so promoting. Do yes, promoting. Point. Probably not. I think I can do that later. Okay. And retiring. Uh, yes, I do want to retire. Whoa. One, two, three, <laughs> four. That's a desperate attempt to get myself some more points. Mm. Um, who shall I retire? Who's not going to be much good anymore? Um, Did you do that? Oh, ah, thank you for reminding me. Okay, I'll have an extra... Um, Where from was on a square? And it, yeah, it can be anything that's a square, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, they all squares, are they? Yeah, I'll, I'll have an extra sheep, I guess. Meh. Um, in which case, I will retire my <coughs> master. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's good news. Because I want the sheep. <laughs> Glad I pointed that out. Good for you. <laughs> right, so, moving. I'm going to move this fella. Mm -hmm. One, two, for across the two. Yep. And I'm going to hire somebody for across the two. Yep. I've only got two out there at the moment, haven't I? Uh, yeah. Just going there. So I receive my me goods. One luxury. Yes. Two sheep. Yes. Three wheat. One wheat and two luxuries? Yep. Nice. Okay. Right. Promoting, upgrading and retiring. Promotion. Two luxuries. Can't use two luxuries. Can't use two luxuries? No. Okay. Okay. I did mention it. Did you? Yeah, briefly at the start. Because <laughs> that's two of the same. If you use oh, two see. luxuries, that's two of the same. You can't Okay, so one luxury and two others. And yep. two others. Right. On that one. Nice. Yep. And then I'm going to upgrade my farmhouse. Okay. So a sheep, or something else, and a luxury. Yep. Oh. That's it. Okay. There you go. Alright, Alan. <coughs> right. Um, let's move this fella to here. Which is free because of that. Yep. And then I'll pay four to hire two people. You can't do that. No, you can't. You need to be one space higher for that. Oh, so I do. Right. I don't want that to hit the five. Right. I'll get that in my head soon. Mm -hmm. Let's just pay two to hire one person. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. fantastic. <laughs> and I will put that down on the square sheep. Okay. So you get three wheat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two sheep. Uh, free because of Just the, one because of yeah. that, yeah. And a luxury. So three wheat, three sheep, and a luxury. And then promoting, upgrading, and retiring. Yep. Want to do some of them? Well, promoting anyway. Um, I will promote, and that costs me two. And I will promote. Hmm. So that guy can't go up, that guy can't go up. He could go up, which will allow me to do my repeat higher action, which I like so much but can't do. But no, I'm going to do this. Okay. Right, so do I want to move people around? Don't know what I'm going to do, but that's not doing very much. Okay, so no, not going to move people around. Just going to get some stuff. Not going to hire anybody new, so I get a cabbage and two luxuries. That's not very good, is it? <laughs> and the sponsorship costs one less, so spend one of them to have some points. You're doing a sponsorship. You have to do a promotion. Sorry, yeah, not allowed to do that. Cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Something fell wrong and I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> so I tried to do it earlier and couldn't. Um, so I could. I could promote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll promote using two resources. Promoting is three, isn't it? Yeah. 
there. I'll get there. There you go. Now it's only two. Now it's only two. Right. <laughs> uh, not retiring. So done. Right. Market day. Ah, I'm going last again. You can't not do that because of that and that and that. Yeah, okay, makes sense. Uh, yellow. Sorry, Al. Is it alright? Got it. Three money. Three money. Red. Three money. Three money. Just that left, is there? To sell the wine? Uh, yeah, I think so. For the moment, then I will just sell that for two. Sure. Thank you. Um, Uh, yeah, I'm just going to sell that for three. So, guild action. Yeah. I think I will just do a promotion. Might regret this, but... Let's bump this one up. Okay, okay. Your guild action's done then? Yep. So I'll do my guild action, which I'm going to promote as well. My promotion costs one less, so I'm going to use that to promote up there. Mm -hmm. uh, am I? Yes, I am. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not doing that one over there. Oh, I think I've messed this up. I just want to move. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Definitely done? Yeah, no, I just want to move. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, very nice. Don't you all that too much, too much thoughts. <laughs> yeah. Um, I reckon I'll do my guild action and I'll sponsor and go here on the sheep. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. Um, yeah, so I'll do my guild action. Which will be to... See, I wanted to retire, but I've messed it up. Don't have four different resources. So I think I'll sponsor. There. If you don't have any people left, could you sponsor by removing one of these? I will check that. I wasn't sure whether that was going to happen or not, but I will check. So sponsoring, when's the first time that can be done? That can be done here, sponsoring. Um, cost of sponsorship is a work account is placed, there are no vacant spaces, no new apprentices. Um, can't have two works in the same guild. It's usually taken from the player's unused supply of workers, but a worker could also be taken from another guild or from a country board. Just not a retired worker. Once you're retired, you don't come back. So you've just done yours? Sounds awfully like they're not really retired. <laughs> yeah. Did I do my guild action? I did, didn't I? I sponsored. Yeah. Yeah. So, anybody got any goods left to sell? Nope. Uh, me? Nope. 
Oh, two sheeps? Yeah. Two sheeps for four. Okay, and then we are done. So we go into the final season of the game. Yeah. But it's just market prices first, so that goes, that goes, that goes, and that goes. So that's them done. Removing season markers. Yeah. There you go. And then paying workers. So who's going to pay for what? Ah, I've got to decide first, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, right, key worker can stay for free. Um, I will... Yeah, let's let's take this guy off. Mm -hmm. But I will leave the other one on because I'm quite happy with the way he is. So you pay two? Yep. Paying four. Okay. Um, I'll I'll pay I'll pay six. Keep all my guys out. What's the worst that can happen? I'm only going to pay two. He's staying because he's free. Uh, this one's staying. This one's going. Just can't make things in the last because round. there's a strike yeah. mm -hmm. and no luxury items are going to be made mm -hmm. in this last round. So uh, turn order. Uh, I have two on the board. I have three. I have two. I've got three. Oh. So, so it's between me and you and for first, yes. and I finally catching in all the favours <laughs> I've had forever. <laughs> uh, but then you're second, and then out of you two, green is first. Oh, what I'm last on the last moment. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so farming. Hmm. So, so this one's useless. So you could move him. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. And that's no longer attached, is it? Nope. No, I know. Is that, that's yeah, unless you money to move. It is, which means I don't then have enough for the other thing that I was gonna do. Ah. So actually, if you don't mind, I'm going to change my mind. Oh no, because it would have affected. Yeah, I shouldn't have no. paid that one either and just put a new one on. Because I don't have enough money. Then again, square tomatoes for me produce three. Mm -hmm. Which is, yeah, as good as round apples. <laughs> no, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend three money I'm going to move this one to here, and that one to there. How nasty. And then I get three fish and three tomatoes. And some apples. Yeah, tomato, apple, pumpkins. <laughs> <laughs> Those things. Right, and then uh, I'm... Do you want to promote? So promoting will cost me two things and effectively get me five points. If I've understood this correctly. Then it might lose you points because you've got this bonus for pairs here. Mm. Yeah, that, that is a good point. Yeah, so I lose eight points to get five points. That doesn't sound like a good trade-in. Not as good, no, not as good. It's pairs of luxuries. Yeah. It's not just one luxury, but a pair yeah. of luxuries. But I am going to spend four things quite so to retire yeah. this one. So, yeah. There's that, there's that, there's that. Okay, that's my starring done, and that is me done. Done, 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 done. Right, so how do leftover resources store up score at the end of the game? Pairs are worth five. Pairs of the same type or just... Pairs of the same type, yeah. yeah. Pairs of the same Pairs type. of the same type with five, unless you're on there, yeah, or so. there. So that let's one. spend one on movement to send him over here. Mm. Uh, Rat bags. <laughs> I'll hire someone no, on, on a space which <laughs> will get me two. So let's say, let's say this one. And I've got a plus one on that. So three veg, three grain, three fruit. Three veg. Three grain, three fruit. Nice. Is it? That's a lot. Yeah, because two twos get plus one, so they're both at plus one. Right. And that's three because of that. Right. Um, I don't think it's in my interest to promote anyone, but I will do a retirement. Um, 
Yep. Four things. Yep. And then you're done. Right. Green. Uh, who shall I retire? Oh, yeah. Who are you retiring? Uh, well, obviously, I'd love to take someone off the circular space and leave that open, but I won't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's just me. Right. That will move him there. He can stay there. And I'll move him to there. So that's all three movements. Yes. So this is... Uh, well, which of your two squares do you want to be plus one? Got a lot of stuff now. Mm, very <coughs> good. We're going to get two, two vegetables, two, sheep, that one early. two fish, <laughs> and then two of them are at plus one. Uh, okay, well I'll go... And the sheep's at plus one anyway, isn't it, because of that? Ah, uh, yeah, one of your chosen plus two spaces that is a sheep. Yeah. Yeah, so you get one. Yeah. I'll go for three of three them. Three fish, three sheep, three wow. bench. Nice. Gosh, I think that's yeah. my first good move of the game. <laughs> the last move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Save the best till last. What's left for me to take? Mm. Not much. And then are you promoting, upgrading, retiring? Uh, oh, yeah. I better upgrade my farmhouse. So that's that. That. Green. And that. Yep. That's an easy 15 points. Yeah. So I can flip that. And then what is it? Four, Four different resources. Four different resources yeah. for retirement. <sighs> Why won't we be doing that? Okay. Rick. Right. Last farming phase. Right. Movement. What do I want? Well. There's no more green circular fruit, so that's out the window. Nope. I don't do anything else with anything else exciting. So let's go. Sheep. They can stay there. Uh, well, I might as well go on the square ones, actually, nice. So there. You can stay there. You get six moving points, don't you? Yeah. And then I can go there. Okay. And then I'm going to hire a worker. Cost you three. Here. Yeah. So I'm on fish, sheep, and fruit. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go there because it's in the same area. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Not much any other square ones I can go, is there really? There? Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. So you get two fruit. Yep. Two sheep. Yep. Two wheat. Yep. Two fish. No bonuses? No, but you could trade two identical resources for two luxuries. Yeah. Okay. If you wanted to. Which I'm gonna do. Why not? And it's going to be. And then we have two wheats for two of them. And then. Oh, yes. Promotion. Promotion, upgrading, and retiring. You can only retire one, can't yeah. you? Right. Let's go promote this fella for that and that. That's oh, so only three, isn't only, it? Only cost you two, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do. There. Okay. And then retire. Yep, yeah, four different resources. Can I do that? Yeah, it's fine. Who's going to retire? It's going to be someone from here because I don't need them anymore. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, market phase. And remember, there is no end of season phase Don't have to anybody. in the last round of the game. Because you just take them off. Mm. Ping off on that right. Oh, oh all the lots of fish there. <laughs> Sell me fish for three. <laughs> Send me sheep for two. Yeah. Let's help me fish for two, wouldn't I? Thank 
you. <laughs> I'm gonna sell my fish for one. Um, I will buy two fish. Mm. For two. I'll buy two shares. <laughs> You've bought. Uh, I will sponsor. Is still at it? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Never give up. Can't um, be the same one twice. Yeah. So yeah. it's five points. You can trade a resource for a luxury upon yeah. sponsorship. If you want to? No. Uh, I'm gonna so that was your guild action. I'm gonna retire. Your guild action is to retire. And then has anybody got anything left to sell? No. You have that to sell for three. Yep. And that is it. Oof. Okay. So, the end of game scoring. What we do now is... This could be embarrassing. Let's see what happens. Oh. Yeah, there's no... Um, scoring time. There's no scoreboard included. <laughs> there's no score pad included. These numbers game. look awfully high. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there is half, this. Half. Mm. So there we go. Right, so let's, uh, let's have a thing on here. And let's go through the scoring steps in order. So first of all, uh, manor houses. Who had a manor house? All of us. Everyone, yeah. Right, so we've all got 15. Okay. Um, am I reading this wrong? How do we do this? It's in five. It's in five to start with. Well, to start yeah. with, but I assume you, you know, if you score less than 50, you've probably done really badly. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, what well, I'm anyway, Don't worry right. about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, retired that's workers. Aim. I have two retired workers. You've got three. I've got two. I've got none. Right, so red is plus 30. 45. Yeah. So it's uh, totally green, it stays there. I'm, I'm there. So uh, 60. Andy is on 60. Oof. Right, okay. Next is guild members. Well, I've messed this up, haven't I? Right, here we go. Guild members. So this one here is five. Uh, this blue one is five. Those two are ten. Mm -hmm, so yeah. green and yellow is ten. Don't forget mine are worth more. I was gonna to come to that at the end. Okay, okay. We'll do that at the end. So here that green one is five. And that red one is fifteen. Fifteen. So nice. fifteen up to there. Right. The next one. Blue is five. Yellow and red score ten. Yellow and red score ten. So from seventy to eighty, it's sixty to seventy. Here, green is five. Yellow, yellow is another ten. Uh, here, that's ten for those. Red and green is ten. Zero for blue. Yeah, that's, that's, that was like the worst move I've ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Any game yeah. ever. Uh, blue and green ten. Uh, green and, and blue. Then special points. Yes, yeah, so let's do your special points. So that's that. That is six, ten, sixteen, twenty. Okay. Twenty for red. Um, okay. Gold pieces. I got one. Seven. One gold piece. Ten. Ten gold pieces for yellow. Keeps my numbers nice and easy. How many you got? Seven. Seven. Oh, seven. I've got thirteen. So yeah. seventy-three. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then pairs of resources which for me are worth eight instead of five. So I have a pair, a pair, and a pair. It's so twenty-four. So one, two, and four. Okay, 20, nice and easy. Look at that, 20. Nice. So, 120. <laughs> one fish. <laughs> one fish. Uh, I've got two pairs. Two pairs, that's which is 10. 10. Uh, so, it's going to be 83. I think that's it. That's it, isn't it? So, the scores on the doors. Alan with 83. Uh, Paul with 90. Rick with 107. And Andy, congratulations. You've got on the board. 120. Hey. There you go. Um, so, I think that's it. I think Ooh. we've got all the rules right. Um, as I say, there are 17 different guilds in the game, so the next time you play, you'll use different ones and they will they will change things up a bit. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Thank you very much for watching. Um, take care. We'll see you next time. See ya.
Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.